Give me some money. How much? I'll get to you. That'll do. Some fella left them in there. He said they were his personal brand, but he had to leave in a hurry, so he had them. Appreciate it. Hey, Jimmy, you want to get
Well, fella, I think I just might know who you are. I'd bet you're Johnny Hollister. So this is where you've spent the last 15 years. Bunch of folks sure misjudged you. But you'd be happy to know there were several folks who always stuck up for you, saying you were an honest man. I sure do hate to leave you like this, old boy. But, Wells Fargo, they'll want to see what happened, and they'll be here pretty soon to put you to rest proper. At this rate, I'm liable to be toting a million dollars by the time I hit town.
Howdy! What's the matter, Sugarfoot? Lose your horse? Nope. As a matter of fact, when I got him up this morning, well, he told me he was still tired. So I just said, you get a little more sleep, rest up a bit, and then meet me in town later. <laughs> I think you're just wearing holes in your boots because you got tossed off your horse. Well, miss, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But you know, my pony, he hates town. He hates city life. Can't even stand city folk. In fact, he might decide not to come into town at all. He could have been pretending this morning. So let's say that my pony decided not to come into town at all. Do you know where a sugarfoot like me might be able to find a couple of real gentle ponies? Probably none gentle enough for you. By the way, I wouldn't sass me if I were you. My daddy owns the biggest spread in these parts and if you want a job around here, you pretty much have to work for him. Oh, I'll for sure remember that. You better, because daddy won't hire you if I say not to. Hey, girlie! Don't you call me that! You know if the sheriff's close at hand today? Oh, I'm sure Buck will find you. got into town, if there's one thing I know about you, you'd be known where the sheriff's office is here in town. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten acquainted with the sheriff. Army feeding you good, huh? Well, sheriff's feeding me good. How long have you been keeping company with the sheriff? 30 days or so, not by my choice. Just get out, I guess. Yeah, just yesterday. So, uh, what kind of man is the sheriff? Oh, I'd say he's a pretty good man. As far as sheriffs go, he's tough. Can he, uh, can he handle himself in some trouble? He put me in jail. Yeah, I, I would say he's a good man to ride through. But like I say, as far as sheriffs go, don't get me wrong because you don't normally see me complimenting the law. But He's a good man. All right. I needed to know that. Much obliged. Uh, where might I find the sheriff's office? Right around that corner right there. And 
if I were you, my advice is don't look like you're in trouble when you walk in. That's polite. You see Fulton. Tell him I said howdy too. I will. Sheriff here. He stepped out for a few minutes and he's left me in charge. Okay. My name's Wallace. Well, how did you, Miss Wallace? It's Mrs. Wallace. Yes, ma'am. Although Mr. Wallace has been gone over 25 years, since then a lot of men want to be my beau. So none of them caught my fancy. I didn't think any of them was man enough for me. It'd take quite a man to be man enough for me. Buck's a good man, but he's a little bit too young and too proud. But he won't even ask my help most time when he needs it. Well, take now, for instance, he didn't exactly leave me in charge. I stepped in to visit and saw his note. Said he'd be back soon. So naturally, I thought he'd want me to stay here and take care of things. That's what I mean about him being too proud. He knows I've been glad to keep an eye on things. But he is too proud to ask me. Even though I'm sure he's gone on important business. What if somebody come in here needing help from Connor Rustlers? Well, who can help him if Buck or nobody was here? You ain't having troubles with Rustlers, are you? No, ma'am. That's good. Yes, ma'am. I got a ranch north of town. I don't need any help taking care of us or there's nobody. I don't see why anybody come crying to the sheriff when they can take care of themselves. That's what I mean about somebody not being man enough for me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I remember the last time I caught somebody stealing my cattle. I'll tell you what I did. Oh, that reminds me, Mrs. Wallace. You seem to be familiar with everything around here. I, I was wondering if you might tell me where I could uh, rent a buggy or... Maybe a couple of horses. I'll drink you some mine, but all I got left is my own saddle horse. You should try JT over at the cantina. JT over the cantina. Delivery. The hotel. And a bunch of other things. Well, it was nice to meet you, Miss Wallace, and uh, I hope to see you again real soon. Hey, you never did tell me what you want to see back for. Well, I'll check back in a little bit and see if he's here in a few minutes. But I got some other things to do. But I'll come back. All right.